My name is Rohan Shukla. Um, I am the International Marketing Officer for India and the Commercial Marketing Executive for Watford Football Club. Uh, my role at Watford uh, involves targeting India as a market in terms of growing Watford's presence there uh, as part of the bigger global presence and the global strategy that we're looking at. Um, at the same time, I've, being assigned as the commercial marketing executive, I now have to look into the, the visibility that front of shirt, sleeve sponsorships, all these different type of companies are getting that are associated with us as our partners and as our clients. Um, the visibility they're getting, the brand valuation and all those money related questions that we have to look into. Uh, that's my role uh, as part of being the commercial marketing executive at the club. In terms of my uh, role, it was specifically thanks to networking. Um, just like all of our other GIS students, I was, I was there in one of their guest speaker sessions uh, where we had Paul O'Brien, who's the commercial director of Watford Football Club, come in. Uh, once he came in, uh, he was talking about how Watford were trying to grow a presence uh, as a Premier League team off the field, despite being, having been relegated the previous season, so being in the Championship. Um, during those sessions, he did mention about India, about growing the presence as targeting India as one of the markets. And I just knew I had to go up to him and give my elevator pitch uh, in terms of just making sure that I make him aware that I could really help in this field. And that's what I did right after the session, I went up to him. I was very nervous, very scared, but at the same time I knew this was probably my only shot in terms of securing a proper, a proper role at a proper club in terms of having any possibility of doing that. I went up to him and I told him that whatever we were trying to do in India needs to be done through this and the fact that certain applications have been banned in India. He agreed for some reason and we got, we got his business card. Once we got his business card, we basically went ahead with a few interviews and I secured the internship which has now been converted into full-time now that we're back in the Premier League and looking to execute whatever strategy we had uh, for India. I, not just being a part of the Premier League but the overall aspect of working for Watford Football Club is, is gigantic for me. It's, it's my dream come true, it's the only dream I've ever had and this is it for me. I mean obviously working in the Premier League now gives us the money and the exposure that we need to grow our presence in India and we will definitely use that to be able to execute our strategies in the right way. So we are looking to grow, but yes, how happy I am, I, on a scale of 1 to 100, probably 156. I chose to study at GIS uh, because um, I wanted to work for a football club, because basically because of where I'm sitting right now. Um, I had this dream and I knew GIS specifically catered to this specific industry when it came to football, the football industry, and I knew that they that the networking options that GIS would provide me would be like no other. And just to be able to fulfill my dream, I chose GIS. The advice that I would give BGIS students or prospective students who, who come in would, don't be scared to approach guest speakers. Uh, I know it's really horrific. It can be really nerve wracking. Um, we can try and reach out to these influential speakers via LinkedIn. We can try by applying for these jobs through different social media sites or through the websites of the official football clubs but it's, it's, it's next to nothing in terms of having a chance to get in because the probability is so low. GIS bridges that gap in terms of you connecting with these influential speakers or industrial speakers. Make sure you, you, you get up out of your comfort zone and you go and speak to them because you never know what that discussion could lead to and I'm an example so I would say if you want to take anything from me, just do the same and hopefully you'll also achieve and be sitting at a football club one day.